Grigory Perlman. Unraveling the enigma of a mathematical genius, Grigory Perlman, the Russian mathematician, made headlines last month for being awarded $1 million for proving one of math's most famous open questions, the Poincaré conjecture. However, the intriguing aspect of this story is Perlman's steadfast refusal to accept the cash reward. This wasn't the first time he turned down recognition. In 2006, he declined the Fields Medal, math's most prestigious honor. Perlman's rationale was straightforward. If the proof is correct, then no other recognition is needed, he reportedly said. The Poincaré conjecture, initially posited by Henri Poincaré in 1904, delves into the behavior of shapes in three dimensions. It stood as one of the seven Millennium Prize problems, each offering a million-dollar reward for a correct solution. Perlman's proof, spanning several years and employing advanced mathematical techniques, captivated the global mathematical community. His approach involved applying Richard S. Hamilton's theory of Ricci flow, a method smoothing out the geometry of spaces while preserving crucial topological properties. Born on June 13, 1966, in Leningrad, now St. Petersburg, Perlman demonstrated an early aptitude for mathematics. His parents, particularly his mother, Lubov Perlman, a mathematician, and his father, Yakov Perlman, an electrical engineer, played a crucial role in fostering his early interest in the subject. Under the guidance of mentor Yakov Sinai, a renowned mathematician and Abel Prize recipient, Perlman's mathematical prowess flourished during his studies at Leningrad State University. Perlman's early work centered on geometry and topology, laying the groundwork for his later groundbreaking contributions. Completing his PhD in 1990, his thesis focused on the study of Ricci flow, a geometric process aimed at smoothing irregularities in three-dimensional spaces. This early work set the stage for Perlman's later breakthroughs in the field. The turning point in Perlman's career came in 2003 when he claimed to have proved the Poincaré conjecture, a problem that had confounded mathematicians for nearly a century. The proof underwent rigorous scrutiny and, in 2006, was accepted as valid. Despite the acclaim and the offered Millennium Prize, Perlman chose to step away from the academic world. He resigned from his position at the Steklov Institute of Mathematics in St. Petersburg, adopting a reclusive lifestyle that fueled speculation about his motivations and mental state. Perlman's withdrawal sparked questions about his motivations. Some speculated it was fueled by disillusionment with the competitive and political nature of academia, while others believed it stemmed from a pure dedication to the pursuit of truth with no need for external validation or recognition. In the years following his withdrawal, Perlman's story became the subject of numerous articles, documentaries, and a book titled Perfect Rigor by Masha Gessen. The intrigue surrounding his life brought attention not only to the Poincaré conjecture, but also to the intricate interplay between genius, fame, and societal expectations. Despite his retreat, Perlman's legacy endures through his contributions to mathematics. The resolution of the Poincaré conjecture opened new avenues of research in topology and geometry, influencing mathematicians worldwide. Perlman's proof showcased the power of interdisciplinary approaches, combining ideas from geometry, topology, and partial differential equations. Grigory Perlman's story raises profound questions about the nature of genius the role of recognition in the pursuit of knowledge, and the personal cost of diverging from societal expectations. His journey, marked by mathematical brilliance and personal retreat, serves as a testament to the complex and multifaceted nature of the human mind. In the realm of mathematics, Perlman remains an enigmatic figure, a recluse who, for a brief moment, allowed the world a glimpse into the profound beauty of his mathematical mind. His decision to forego fame and fortune only deepens the mystery surrounding his motivations. In the end, Perlman's legacy extends beyond the mathematical problems he solved. It embodies a complex narrative of brilliance, solitude, and the intricate dance between genius and the world that seeks to understand it.